Hey, what's up, Ty1822, doing a video response to uh, Bonafide. Why do people hate LeBron James? You know, LeBron James, fans get on this guy, you know, with the jokes. Oh, he have no rings. Talk about his hairline, the brick James, little bum. Now, LeBron James, this guy, to me, the most talented player in the NBA. When, Le when LeBron James, you know, hit high school, they said this guy will be a great player in the NBA. He proved that, yes, LeBron James a great player. LeBron James came to Cleveland, revived the city, the franchise. LeBron James was so beloved in his Cleveland days. Remember the days when LeBron James didn't come up in the clutch? And they always said this. LeBron James is 21. He's 22, 23, 24. He will learn. You saw LeBron James in the NBA playoffs. Took the team to one finals. But every time they lost in the playoffs, they always said, you know what? LeBron James need more talent around him. They got more talent for him. He never had another superstar, but they got talent around him. Never worked in Cleveland. You had Skip Bayless saying, hey, LeBron James is not the next Michael Jordan. He put him on a Michael Jordan pedal stool. So Skip Bayless wasn't a fan. He said LeBron was clutch. But all fans like me and other LeBron James fans always gave this guy an excuse. He had so many excuses. LeBron James was so beloved. But once his free agency hits, he said on national TV, nobody saw this coming, uh, you know, a show that announced that he going to another team. So everybody know the line. I'm taking my talents to South Beach to join Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. Once that happened, fans went nuts. Because fans are emotional, you no know, fanatics. That's what a fan is. We fanatics. We went emotional. I couldn't believe it. Like, he left Cleveland. You got Cleveland fans angry. Burnt his jersey up on the news. You got fans like, I can't believe this guy. What a sellout. Now he want to join two superstars. All of a sudden, you see the debut of the Miami Heat. Coming with a celebration. The Pyros dancing. Don't forget this, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not seven titles LeBron James is talking about. And fans couldn't believe what was going on. If you wasn't an NBA fan, if you turned on TV and you saw that when they came out dancing and talking talking about what, doing all this other stuff, you would have said, you know what, this team, oh, 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 they celebrating their championship. If you wasn't a fan, you would think that. But no. And fans couldn't believe that, like, these guys talking about winning titles before they even step a foot on the floor. So all of a sudden, the Miami Heat play the first game with each other, open the night, the highest opening game in NBA history for, for regular season game. The Miami Heat start off 9-8. Fans got on LeBron, told you, LeBron James, you and the Miami Heat are nothing. The Miami Heat finally got great. A lot of bandwagon fans, of course, not a surprise. Then they went on a five-game losing streak. Yes, the Miami Heat, LeBron, D-Wade, they can't come up big in the fourth quarter. But all of a sudden, here you go. NBA playoffs, LeBron James and the Miami Heat blew by everybody. LeBron James had a great series against the Boston Celtics. Chicago Bulls, key moments, he shut D-Rose down. But NBA finals happened. They win game one. Game two, they choke it away. They won game three. But after that, after the game three win, the Miami Heat went down. LeBron James came up so small in NBA Finals. It was so tough to see a talented player at LeBron James level to come up so short in the NBA Finals. LeBron James, to me, is the most talented player, like I said. But he don't have killer instinct. He don't have that killer will of a Kobe Bryant or Dwayne Wade. Then, you know, fans finally noticed, you know what? Skip Bayless was right all this time. Skip Bayless right the whole time. Now, finally, fans jumped on his bandwagon after they saw the NBA Finals. That's what fans said. You know what? All this time, I was against Skip Bayless about LeBron James, but I was wrong about LeBron James. Fans root against LeBron James in the Miami Heat. I don't say LeBron is hated by fans because, like I said, the highest regular season game, Boston versus Miami. The highest NBA Finals in the, since the Jordan days. LeBron James is a Raiders draw. He moves the meter when it comes to 
radio, you hear LeBron James' name. LeBron James is so popular, and people always going to root against this guy. NBA, when it came back this season, Christmas Day, the highest ratings on Christmas Day. LeBron James and the Miami Heats, the biggest draw on a roll in the NBA. So I don't think LeBron James hated. He's a very intriguing basketball player. There's no need to hate on a basketball player for playing basketball. But LeBron James had to accept the fact, hey, I am not beloved how I used to be in Cleveland. They want to rule against LeBron James. The Miami Heats are the New York Yankees of the NBA now. Even though they don't have titles, you know, of course they have titles as the Yankees. Miami got one. But I'm talking about as an overall popularity team, they're the New York Yankees. When it comes to baseball in the playoffs, that one team everybody ruled against, the New York Yankees. The one team everybody ruled against in the NBA playoffs, the Miami Heat and LeBron James. So, I don't say LeBron is hated by fans. He's a very intriguing athlete that people cannot stop watching. Because every night, fans act like the Miami Heat's loss is a playoff loss. But it's a season loss. But that's how popular LeBron James is. He's that popular that he got so much people rooting against him. He's still popular. But... He not getting a pass no more from fans how he used to do in Cleveland. But he's still popular. Don't mean you get a root against don't make you popular. That still makes you popular. And hey, LeBron, accept the fact. You will never be beloved how you used to. You don't get the excuses. You're still a popular player. But teams going to play the Miami Heat's hard every single night. Fans will boo, boo, boo and go against you until you, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and the rest of the players win the NBA championship. But once the Miami Heat win a championship, fans will be quiet. And LeBron will say, hey, kiss the ring. Kiss the ring. Kiss the ring. That's all LeBron got to say. If you win a championship, fans will finally shut up. So LeBron, you want people to back off you? It's time for you and Dwayne Wade and Chris by this season to win the NBA championship. So give me your thoughts on this, on here about LeBron James. Why do people hate him? And since this response video to Bonafide, I'm going to put his channel right in the description box. Sub to this dude. Very entertaining guy. Made all type of videos. And, of course, subscribe to the official swag page. And, of course, subscribe to my channel. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button on all three of these channels. I'm out. Peace.